Good, Good morning. morning from Freeport. I hear they've already kicked up the music outside, oh, so yeah. we are definitely here. Party time. We are heading off on a ship excursion today. Now, we looked at the selection of excursions, and there's a lot of exciting offerings, but we wanted to do an all-inclusive, or at least a resort day pass. Yeah. There are three options, one of which is Taino Beach, which we have done before, which is not all-inclusive. That's the cool one with the uh, like cave the grottos. grottos. Yeah. Um, then you have a Grand Lucayan or Lighthouse Point, which is all-inclusive, and we have done before. Yep. The other one is the Wyndham Viva Fortuna. That's what we're doing. <laughs> looking at words now to make sure. Viva right. Wyndham Resort is what they call it. There you go. For, you know. Maybe I threw Fortuna in there on my own. Viva Wyndham, <laughs> but it is an all-inclusive day, brand new property for us, and we said let's go have yeah. a chill day. And we have a pretty long day because we um, meet at 9.15 and don't have to be back on the bus till 3.30. So, nice long amount of time to enjoy all of those amenities. I like that. Yeah. Alright, let's go enjoy some breakfast and head to the meeting point. They said they would have towels ready for us there, mm -hmm. so come on! Let's do it! They have got a little Henry Extra on here. What are you doing this morning, boy? He cute. Welcome to the buffet. Now let's check and see if we pass these front buffets. Yeah, folks are finding these back buffets, but not as many. Score. Oh, well, we've got eggs, mushroom frittata, turkey sausage, pork sausage. What's over here? Pancakes, French toast, corned beef hash, potatoes, chocolate croissant, regular croissant, cereals. They do have an omelet station over on this side. Well, we snagged a table here outside. I also saw some bacon and some biscuits and gravy and all kinds of stuff in there, but we're keeping it light because we obviously have some food included today. We want to be able to enjoy that. And a PSA, if you sit out here, watch your plate. We just saw a bird come out, land on somebody's table and took most of a piece of bread off their plate, I think, so. Yeah. Y'all little birdies. <laughs> Is it this one? Oh, it's all y'all, huh? Get out of here. Come on. <laughs> Euphoria Lounge. So this is our meeting point today. There is the towel sign out table. Looks like you just give them your cabin number. Oh, they got lots of merch and stuff for sale. It's this little table you trade your tickets in for wristbands. Oh, they had coffee and decaf and pastries right down here. That's convenient. Look at those little muffins. Yeah, they're showing the Jimmy Buffett concert video in here. Good time. Some tours were meeting in the theater today. So check your tickets. Make sure you know which meeting location you have. Welcome to the Grand Bahama Island and welcome to the Euphoria Lounge. This is your meeting point. They've called our group and we are ready. All right, so now we'll do the stairs. Oh, look at you taking a shortcut. The stairs from eight down to three. We got some drops coming out of the sky. I think it was supposed to be a 50% chance of rain today, but we figure, hey, 50% sun, I can deal with that. <laughs> so into this terminal building. Well, they got a good amount of indoor shopping. <laughs> and there's all your outdoor shopping opportunities. Oh, there's a double decker. Looks like that might be our ride. We have snagged some seats in the bottom enclosed section. Trying to use our smart brains today and stay dry while we can. <laughs> checked in and got some extra wristbands at the front desk that prove we are here on the all-inclusive. <laughs> so let's wander and find out. Let's learn. The sun is peeking through the clouds. Here is the pool, which is probably where we will plant ourselves. We've snagged a cozy little bed right here under an umbrella. That'll be perfect, you know, for any unexpected changes in weather. Let's get settled in and ready for water mode. Let's wander into the Goombay's bar area. Get ready to be more. Oh. Josh and five more bands of our dance tournament. Our dance tournament. There is a 
peek at the giant cocktail menu on the wall. Okay, they have a lot of choices, including non-alcoholic and coffee and juice. And they said usually there's activities outside, but because of the weather, they have moved them in here to what they're calling the theater. I have grabbed a Mai Tai to start my day, and Dee went with a mimosa, appropriate for, you know, the morning hour. I don't know how much orange juice is in this, actually. It was but. mostly champagne, <laughs> honestly. So there's a little bubbly looking tub over there. That's the bar area we just came from. I think we're gonna investigate this little tub thing over here. See if it's a kiddie pool or something. Kiddie pool confirmed. All right, let's don't swim in that one. We have the beach obviously as an option and this lovely pool as an option. Oh yeah, I missed the whole section of beach back here, didn't I? No, no. Oh, that's the trapeze. That so cool. Whoa, I'm not doing that today. <laughs> Well, they have stairs for entry into the pool. Is it chilling? It's chilling. <laughs> Probably a good idea to check the rules to make sure that you can have beverages in the pool. I don't see anything there preventing them. Nice. Oh, they got hair braiding, bracelets. I can take a peek at this beach. Thank you. Oh, the sand is soft. A little bit of waves, a little bit of sprink sprinks. <laughs> oh, you can attack my seagulls. Holy I moly. Don't have any. No, we didn't bring any bread to the beach. <laughs> Let's see. I don't have any yeah, people are out here feeding them and making them mad. Okay. Ooh, very refreshing out here too, which is to be expected. Oh, it's warmer than the pool. Yeah, but it's definitely stirred up. Duh. Probably no snorkel. Yeah, I'm gonna say snork mode no for today. It's pretty though. Mm -hmm. It is green flag for swimming today. They got tons of loungers. They got little swings. We found a beach bar. So as an alternative to having to be wet right. and going into that one bar we went to, we did locate the beach and pool bar. Hi. Welcome to Bird Wars. <laughs> so I guess somebody yeah. was feeding these uh, birds bread and they've just run out, which is why the birds are all riled up. I have nothing for you birds, unless you want a, a beverage or something. It is so much less busy out here at this little bar. Okay, nice. Well, we'll settle in here and stare at the ocean for a while, maybe grab another beverage and then go back to the pool probably. See if we can freeze. <laughs> we will. <laughs> this beach bar has snacks. There are apples underneath this lid, which I won't raise right now, are hamburgers with ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise. Ooh, I'm not sure what's under these lids. Now should I raise the lid? Right, let's raise the lid and look. Oh, this might be the hamburgers themselves. Oh, there we go. Meat's down here. Okay. Well, the rains have come back in full force, so Dee has grabbed a caipirinha for the pool. I tried to order an old-fashioned, but he's like, man, I don't have vermouth and this other stuff. I said, you know what? Let's just put that old bourbon whiskey on the rocks. So that's what I got. Hey, foot wash. Uh, kind of looks like the Roman uh, aqueduct. <laughs> All right, you get a little drizzle to wash your feet. They do have like the shower version the up there. Since we got one of these fancy beds, we are actually gonna make use of this bed today. So this is um, stinking cozy. Yeah. Having the umbrella is awesome. I'm getting, my feet are getting dripped on a little bit and there's some like runnage of drippy drews up the bed. Can't help but it though. We're probably gonna get in the pool here in a minute anyway. So it doesn't really matter if we're like pre-wet. It's, it's like a, a, a pre-pool wetness. <laughs> So here is our view for now. Not many people in the pool. Most people are kind of seeking shelter because obviously it is raining. No, we have relaxed in that bed until 12.30 and now it is food time. So here in Goombays, we do have our lunch buffet option. Oh, the possibilities. All right. What have you found? Um, quinoa, couscous, I guess it's zucchini, chicken, okay. some pasta, eggplant, lots of veggies. They have pizza, burgers, french fries, lots of desserts. They have hand scooped ice cream. Oh, wow. There's all sorts of stuff. It's more like a sport. <laughs> oh, I think I got a dessert plate. Anyway, I found some couscous, zucchini, some beef, some lasagna, and some chicken on a tiny little plate. I should have upgraded and got a big plate. And back out into the world. So we grabbed a couple of caipirinhas for the pool. Oh, it's remarkably empty. Still a little drizzly, but since we're already wet, I guess we'll finally enter a body of water. Oh, the hot tub is still the place to be, but yeah, let's enter the cold tub. <laughs> 
Well, we've got steps on both woo! ends, which is nice. We've got woo officially. That is definitely the coldest water we've been so Uh oh. Far. <laughs> <laughs> Even the birds are yelling. Ah! So we start here at three feet or 0.9 meters. Let's we'll see how deep this pool gets. It is definitely chilly. I think all this fresh rainfall has helped with the uh, <laughs> temperature of the pool. I feel like we're torturing ourselves if we just walk slowly toward the deep end. Is that, that's how this works. Uh, how you get used to it. That or just jump straight in. True. No, thank you. Shasta daisies, that's cold. <laughs> My mama plants Shasta daisies. I don't even know what they are. Ooh, I'm gonna have to call her and ask. <sighs> Come okay. on, dip it low. Shasta daisies. Yeah, it's all about Shasta daisies today. <laughs> it's not terrible, honestly. Like, it's not like Antarctica. Oh, well, that was four feet by the ladder. We're already at five feet here. Let's see how deep this puel goes, shall we? Oh, little birds are so cute. Look at it. Yeah, people have been feeding the small birds, Don't not realizing that. that when you do that, you're going to also be feeding the large birds. So they're being taken by surprise. Oh, it's getting shallower. I want to hear people playing volleyball over there in the sand. Okay, and then this goes back to three feet. So, whoop a The deepest right in the middle. Yep. Right here at the five foot marker is where you will find me. I have no idea the actual temperature of um, this pool. Here, let's do a test. All right, I put my drink in it. The ice didn't melt, so that means it's 32 degrees. This water is 32, proven scientific fact. I would say it's probably like 70, 677, which totally is guessing. cold if you're, you know, used to like a heated pool that's like 80, 88. I, I have really no don't idea. know. I am not an aficionado <laughs> in pool temperatures and what's comfortable it to may your be body. Colder than that. All I know is 32 because I still have ice cubes. Pool spin. Well, this is definitely a chill day, <laughs> literally today. We're the only people in the pool. Yep. Currently, there were people earlier. Everybody's in a hot tub right now, but the rains have kind of stopped. Yay. It's very, very lightly sprinkling, but yeah, that's what they said. Somewhere around, it was like 50% chance of rain, and here we are about one o'clock, and the rains have shoved off. Still no sun to speak of, but you know what? It's a two-day cruise. You're on vacation. Get out and enjoy it. You only have the one day in Freeport, that's so you true. might as well. You're going to be wet anyway from the rain. Get in the pool. Do it. So you have tried a whole two different <laughs> beverages since you've been here. So tell me, how is this caipirinha treating you? Such a lush. No, um, this is really good. I told the bartender that if they could make something that just wasn't super sweet, I didn't want a bunch of fruit juice because I don't know, that's just not me. So we made a caipirinha, which I it's like white rum, lemon juice, I think, something else out of a bottle. I have no idea what it was and like Sprite. And it's really refreshing and good. It almost tastes like a mojito without mint, which I appreciate. So if you're looking for something lighter that tastes good, this is this is a winner for sure. Yeah, we have had caipirinhas before at like Brazilian restaurants because I think it is a drink of Brazil, unless I'm remembering that incorrectly. And this one tastes a little, I don't know what, it's different. Like caipirinha is good, but this one is either extra citrusy or I don't know, it's good. So that'll be the drink of the day here at Viva Wyndham Fortuna. This is Jerry's cousin Larry over here taking a bath. Wow, hey friend. He's having a good time today. We've also found Wilson's cousin, Teo, in the pool. Nice to meet you, Teo. Now we've not seen anything like roving bar service, so we're gonna wander back over here to the bar and snag some more fun. And now back to our pool, <laughs> our little bird pool. We've got that phenomenon again with these bubbles so I can like draw hearts and messages on your back. That's funny. Whee! Subscribe to Paro Detail. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the time has come to return to land mode. It's a sad time indeed. We've come back up to the beach snack bar for some investigation. So it's burgers and dogs up here. Oh, chicken nuggets. Ooh, I made a double cheeseburger and there's some chicken nuggets and some pickles and ketchup. We got fries and a hot dog, a bunless hot dog. Yeah. Here. Nice. Y'all, we have made a discovery. These chicken nuggets are delicious. They kind of taste a lot like McDonald's chicken nuggets, but they are fantastic. Super chickeny. I like them. Ooh, 
Ooh, what is around the corner? Okay, they've got pizza over here as well. Oh, disco victory pizza. Party pizza. Now back to our little bed to dry off. Oh, they're doing trivia in here now. Y'all, we have been debating what this sign means. Okay, I understand. No bare feet. No flexing your six pack abs. No, that's no like shirtless. Do not take your food outside. Does this mean no humans are allowed to come inside the bar and buffet area? What does that mean? I don't know. I understand three out of four. Is it just no men? Like only women can eat? I don't know. Anyway, let's head up to the bus. Ah, they've got us in a different ride back to the port. Nice. to the port we have made our way through all of these shopping opportunities and we're gonna head back inside ah we got x-ray right here at the port we have made it successfully through the screening welcome home beverages down here towel return let you in your room <laughs> We have come back to the cabin to find not one, but two friends. Actually, I think one might be the friend from yesterday, but he has made a new friend. And now it's time for dinner. <laughs> oh, I almost wore that same outfit to dinner tonight, man. Now our team from last night said if you would like this table again, he would slap a reserve sign on it. So here we are at our same table with a view. How about that? some time in the adult arcade and now it's time for Caribbean heat so welcome to stars on the water I hear steel drums oh man there's Anna banana
the euphoria lounge now the band is out here playing some tunes but they're getting ready to kick into the adult quest game show okay get you ready Lizzie, yeah, because now we're going to do the quest game show i'm going to ask you a few questions everything what i ask you is going to be here inside the lounge everything's going to be here right now you don't have to go to your room or you have to go out of the ship to bring something for you i want to see you coming here with the something reading margarita bill See y'all later after this game show. Okay. One hand I want to see a two number. What is it? And the other hand is I want to see a lady wearing a man's shoes. <laughs> number two. Room. Good, Good night. night. We are back in the cabin. Yep. We have to catch you up on a lot of stuff because we um didn't talk about our day or anything, did we? We kind of had to run as soon as we got back on the ship to get yeah. to dinner in time. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, hey, how was your day in Freeport? Rainy, but really, really good. Like, honestly, even though the weather was a bit of a damper, haha, obviously, they still kept the activities going. Mm. The buffet lunch was really good. The pool was nice and chilly and refreshing. Very. The drinks were strong and plentiful. Um, there was a big variety, so you could mm. choose whatever you want, alcoholic or non. Um, yeah, it was a great place, and if the sun was shining, I'm sure it would be even better. And the ocean looked beautiful, yeah. Yeah, no idea how much snorkeling is out there because no. today was not the day for it. No, but, but that's okay. Maybe some other time. <laughs> but And then, what have we done with our evening? I guess let's talk about the show mm -hmm. anyway. So, Caribbean Heat, another good... They, this, they, really they work good. out the acrobatic stuff on this one, y'all. Yeah, we were just saying to our, um, each other, like, we've been on, like, you know, the bigger cruise lines, and you see, like, the acrobatics, the silks, the balancing, the hoops. They had all of that. Mm -hmm. Like, it was very impressive, and again, the, the screens in the background were beautiful and bright. The costumes were great. The singing and dancing, of course, was wonderful, and the choreography, like, the song choices, and they did mixes. Yeah, it was a full-on production show and really impressive for, like, the size of a ship, you know? I know. Yeah. I dig it. Good job, Margaritaville. <laughs> it was good. Uh, and then we went to Quest. We did. Which, entertaining, as always. You can't show that, obviously. I mean, it doesn't, it's it's pretty tame, honestly. Yeah. It's not that bad, but um, but it's fun, and it is adults only, so that keep that true. in mind. And Alex is a hoot. <laughs> yes, Mama we love him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess let's, do we need to dig into dinner? Any other words before we do that? No. I guess not, dinner. Joe. It's dinner time. Well, hey, you started off with some tuna. Yeah, it was billed itself as tuna tartare. Um, it had like a little salad with it and some sort of sauce. It was a very small portion, so keep that in mind. Maybe order a second appetizer. But it was really tasty. Fortunately, we both did order we did. second appetizers. I started off with a salad, and now you know me. The reason I got this salad is because it has blue cheese on it. But this was a delightful little salad, actually. The lettuce blend um, it had little bits of radicchio. You know how radicchio sometimes will overwhelm a salad? It was very daintily done. Huh? And I liked it. The blue cheese was fantastic. Nice little citrusy dressing. Heck yeah, you got tortilla soup. This was one of my favorite soups I've ever had on any cruise ship. Mm. No lie. Um, it was delicious. It tasted like the inside of like an enchilada, but like the corn tortilla strips were like, well, I guess that's like an enchilada too. I guess. Or no, tamale. Oh, tamale. Anyway, one of those delicious things. Yeah, it was so good. I got the spring rolls. They were tasty. The texture was good. Very crispy on the outside. Um, this little sauce. It was like they had taken, you know, that standard sort of um, sweet chili sauce that comes as a dipper and added like soy to it. So it was like an amped up sweet chili sauce. Super tasty. Hmm. I like that. You had a big old bowl of mac and cheese. Yeah, it's called Tuscan mac and cheese with chicken and spinach uh, cheese and like really creamy sauce. It was very good. The pasta was cooked well. All the flavors were good. For me, personally it was a little too heavy i would not probably order it again but that's just a personal thing if you love mac and cheese it's amazing mm, i tasted it it was good yeah. but it's rich that's true too rich for me 
I had shrimp and grits. And now this was a Creole style. So grits underneath, lots of that Creole sauce. Shrimp cooked really well. Grits, they were a little lumpy. Now, you know, I am a Southern boy <laughs> and I know my grits, but they were good. Flavored well, little lumps going on, but the sauce was great and I enjoyed it. Yep. You had vanilla ice cream. I did. So the only reason I chose this is because the other desserts on the menu, it was the key lime cake, the mm. brownie, and then um, kind of like a baked Alaska, which is not my favorite thing. So I went with ice cream. It's a really good vanilla ice cream. I don't know what brand it is, but it's very tasty. Mm. Jimmy Buffett ice cream. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, speaking of things that are like baked Alaska, I got what they call the baked Florida. There it is. Yeah. It, the, it didn't have like the crystallized sugar going on on the top, which I kind of like that it doesn't have that crunch crunch brulee nicely. Still had that tasty ice cream in there. And the cake layer was thick. You know, normally they get kind of chintzy with those cake layers. This actually had a good amount of cake inside that thing. So Nice. Overall, I had a tasty meal. Everything was tasty and good. And the portions were, you know, decent sized. Yeah, everything was lovely. <laughs> well, now I guess we are going to turn in and we will see you Tomorrow. for demarcation morning already. I know. So stay tuned. <laughs> Here it comes. But first, it is time for In the Shower with Jay. Margaritaville at Sea Edition. Now, I believe we have reviewed this exact style of shower. Different cabin, same shower. But let's look at it again. So this is a round shower curtain unit, and even though I usually identify as a round, this was a little tight, I gotta say. The um, shower curtain is, um, it doesn't go all the way down into the shower, so we've had some like leakage concerns and things like that. Maybe about two more inches on the shower curtain would help, but lots of storage, which I do like. They've got like a little hanging bar and shelves. You got sink somewhere spa stuff. Uh, detachable, movable shower head. The water pressure is very, very, very not. So that was kind of a thing. Um, controls down here. This is on off. You just pull it towards you to turn it on. Push it for off. Rotate it for hot cold. And that's really about it. No clothesline. There is like a peg up there. But yeah, it's a cozy circle with a shower curtain. Let us dig into that spreadsheet and see what happens. Probably just what happened last time. Hmm? Good, Good morning. morning and welcome back to West Palm Beach. That was fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two days fly by. So I think we're going to grab a little taste of breakfast before we head off to our next adventure, Embarkation Day shirt, as it's full <laughs> effect. Uh, let's do just some overall thoughts of our experience this time, our second experience on Margarita Villa at Sea. Yeah. Um, I'd say before the cabin, just random thoughts. The bed has been firm, but relatively cozy. I thought it was soft. <laughs> well, My no, side was soft and squishy. We do have two separate beds, actually, because it is twins oh, yeah. pushed together. So mine's a little firmer. It's not oh, bad. Oh, you know you're right. Mm, so <laughs> apparently it depends on what side of the bed you sleep on. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, mine is squishy. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That so, But mine, it was not uncomfortable. I mean, you know, you're here for two nights, but it yeah. was firm. And I mean... It, it's not like a board, like we've had some weirdo beds in the past on other ships. True. Uh, internet, well, that's not really cabin related, but it was just on my brain, has been pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we've been able to do work. Um, there are some spots on the ship that my phone didn't want to connect, like mm. in the theater, around the casino, but it eventually did. So it's a lot better than it was, I think, previously. I think so, too. Yeah. Um, I, I speed checked it. I forget what it was. Editing me. <laughs> Put that graphic up in here when I speed tested the internet. <laughs> Storage in the room is great, especially, mm. you know, for, for two days. Um, lots of TV channels. I think it's the most TV channels we've seen on any cruise line. If you want to, like, watch TV, you have tons of, I think it's like 30 options. Also about 30 channels, not including the cruise ship channels. That's not right. like the bow camera and the safety video. 30 actual TV channels. Yeah. Uh, electrical outlets in the room. Definitely mm. bring something that has multiple plugs, but not like the illegal, like... Um, well, yeah, no extension cords. No extension cords. But you only really have the one outlet and it's on the floor. Mm -hmm. So just have that in mind with your cords. But we were able to charge everything because we have a little block in our Amazon shop. That's true. AeroDJ.com <laughs> slash Amazon. Uh, if you have a converter, you can use the outlet up by the desk, which would help. We have one. Didn't even think about bringing it. Yeah. And then I think there's also another one on the floor. So you could have three outlets if you bring two converters. Mm -hmm. Just don't plug any, you know, anything that'll fry in there because no, they got no. 220 up in a lot of those outlets. Yeah. 
Uh, I guess so. What food? I have had a actually I had a more probably solid food experience this time even than last time because the buffet was good and the dining room was good. Yeah, they have plentiful options even if you're like vegetarian on the the buffet um, and the dining room. So you know they're looking out for all of that and everything tasted good. My only complaint. Um, in the buffet and the dining room is the water itself has sort of like a, a minerally taste that's not my favorite and it had it last time too so if that bothers you maybe bring like well no you can't bring bottled you can't bring water. Water. buy bottled water true <laughs> or just try to drink lemonade or something yeah. that masks yeah. it a little bit maybe uh, entertainment that has vastly improved I mean I loved it last time but yeah. loved it more this time they have actual like Stinking production mm -hmm. shows, I would call them. Good gracious. No, they were insane and so well put together. Like, I was very impressed with the shows. Absolutely. Uh, any other categories before? I'm, the last category I'm just going to mention, the ship. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, the excursions were okay. good. Um, fairly well organized. You know, they have the meeting time. They have the towels ready and the bands. It's mm. when you get off the ship that there sometimes can be a little bit of confusion. But that's with the people running the tour, not yeah. the ship itself. But, I mean, we all got there. We got the five hours that we were told. Pickup was fine and prompt. And it was a lovely day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it ran as scheduled because we mm -hmm. were sitting there worried, like, are we going to get our full time? <laughs> we, oh, we had five hours of that. Yeah, that we was really a lot. did. Uh, any other? That's My brain is running out of categories other than breakfast. It keeps going, coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> I guess I'll just go ahead and talk about the ship. You yeah. know, because when you come on here, you have to know what you're getting into. This right. ship was built, I believe, in 1991. So as of the posting of this video, it's about 33 years old. That's a long time for a ship. Yeah, they say the average lifespan, you know, is 30 some odd years. So she's got some age on her. You will mm -hmm. find some slightly squishy deck boards. The decks do hold rain, you know, and you have to watch out for little puddles. Uh, there was a leak the other day. So sort of in the buffet, but they had buckets down. Mm -hmm. They were catching it. The water pressure is low. So, you know, there are some sort of like old ship things that you're obviously going to run into. One funny thing is that people kept asking on our posts, oh, gosh. <clears throat> have you found any weird smells? Is it stinky? Does it smell like poop? We walked all the public decks. Every We've gone <laughs> up and down our hallway <laughs> and like that. And we have not found any negative odors other than some of the ones coming out of humans. Recreational and their things. Recreational. That, ships, that are on other ships as well. Yeah. So human generated smells that are like of the smoke variety, yeah. but no poop smells. I think even last time we were on here, we found like a poop zone. Yeah. It could was, not find it. It was smelling our last. It definitely nothing. It smelled like cleaning, and yeah, we, we did the research for you guys. <laughs> I mean, we we're trying. To check it out. No, I mean you can run into stinky zones on lots of ships. Oh. We've been walking around and found lots of stinky. Actually, can I say it on our kind of disease? We were walking around and we found like a kind of a oh, stinky yeah. zone I mean, one you day. Know, they have plumbing at ships. Yeah, out at sea, you have to do what you can do. You but, can't help you us. Know. So, like, the newest ship in the world, she got stinky problems too. It happened. Sorry, Icon. I didn't mean to throw you under the bus <laughs> like that. Uh, but I have had a great time overall. So, yeah. for a two-day cruise, or getting ready to be three days, or four or five day options mm -hmm. out of Tampa, I don't know. I feel like this is a line that we might come down and sail more often. Yeah, they have a good variety of activities. The casino, we did want to touch mm, on that. There you go. So, they have a casino here um, on the ship. It is cash only. Mm -hmm. So you don't charge it to your room like you would in like the traditional larger cruise line. Or we didn't find a way to do Not it. Not a way so. to do it. But they do have a, a club and you can sign up for it. You need your photo ID, email, phone number, and you get $10 uh, free play when you do that. So that's pretty nice. And we both won in the casino. Yeah. Not bad. It, it was a nice decent hit. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, we're walking off with like, I think maybe a hundred dollars hey. up. Don't tell the casino department. We got you a hundred dollars, <laughs> but we do. We but got I mean, it. Yeah. A lot of people on these shorter cruises, they like to either gamble, mm -hmm. relax and have fun with their family or drink, <laughs> you that. know, or and you can do all those all things. All of the above. <laughs> Take the family into the casino and order yeah. drinks. This is good for like, if you're celebrating something, you want a quick little getaway, definitely with your family and friends. So mm -hmm. everybody, we watched and, and talked to seem to be having a really good time yeah yeah it's all about what you make of it that's true <laughs> just positive attitude know what you're getting into have a little jimmy buffett relaxed lifestyle Definitely. vibe and have fun yeah i guess that's it for now so let's grab some breakfast mm -hmm. i'll do the ending now but we'll have a little bit of walking off the ship footage i'm sure so if you have not already be sure to subscribe to the channel become a paromaniac today socialize all our media facebook instagram and twitter yep and until next time right on, on. Cap.
cabin spin. All right, so we've decided, I think we're gonna go ahead and hit the road. They said there were pastries and coffee and things in Euphoria Lounge, which yeah. was a waiting zone, but technically we have like express departure today and Orlando just came over the speakers and called it. So I guess we'll go ahead and use that yeah. and grab breakfast on the road and off to more fun. So let's go. Oh, I can see that flip-flop. Now, I don't believe they use facial recognition in this terminal, so you gotta pack your patience a little bit. We're doing the old school immigration passport check process. And we're off. <laughs> 